I'll drink from my the boss mug because I'm the mayor. Mm. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild World. Oh my, I've got to visit Isabel today. Oh, there's also a tent? Or is this somebody's house? No, it's a tent. I think it's Katrina. Katrina, the fortune teller. Oh, she's related closely to Brandar the Khajiit. You know Brandar? Have you watched his adventures on my channel? Oh, you really should. Hello there. Oh my, you, you are being surrounded by the bright aura of many stars. I, Katrina, will reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes untold for the mere 500 bells. Sounds like a good investment. <laughs> Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Have a seat. That's a kneel, but okay. Whatever works. Whoa. I'm tripping. Ah, oh, yes, it has come into view. It is the age of eco this and recycle that. There is no end to the sound of customers' feet coming in and out of the recycle shop's door. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh, yes, I can. I see good fortune upon items. Unisex bottoms. <laughs> this item will be the key to truly unlocking your good fortune. I gotta find some unisex bottoms. <laughs> I guess we'll go visit the Able Sisters and see what it do. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. <laughs> Very helpful. Reminds me a lot of Brandar. Bad times are just times that are bad. Don't worry about that. This too shall pass. Now I think I should just do Brandar's voice for the rest of the episode. I do miss him so. I have to wait for Elder Scrolls 6. Oh, look at my little tree, dude. It's grown up and I barely came to visit it at all. I feel like such a bad tree dad. Oh, pitfall. My bee. That was, that was dumb. <gasps> Boone! Are you coming to my house, bro? Hey, uh, hey, Dayton. Gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions, baboon. So what's up, bro? I, I, don't, I don't know. You tell me. Have you read the bulletin board yet today? The what now? Really? Well then, I should tell you about it. First, the bulletin board's in front of the train station. You find tons of great stuff on it, all kinds of announcements and info about town events. Not only that, but you can post things there too. You can write whatever silly thing you want. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Just post whatever you need to post. By the way, sometimes birds perch on the bulletin board. According to legend, they sit up there when there's a new message to read. Weird, right? But it's probably a good idea to check for news when you see a bird, baboon. Oh, it's like Twitter. It's like Twitter, except, uh, no, actually, they're both... <laughs> They both talk about pretty, uh, unimportant things, don't they? But I did get a letter, so let's see who this is from. It's from my mom. Oh, hi, mom. Let's read her letter, see if I can switch screens. Nice. Dear Dayton, I can't help but be a bit nervous about your first solo journey. I'm sending you something to help you along. I'll try not to worry. Love, mom. Thanks, mom. What'd you send me? A ranch tea table. Well, isn't that thoughtful? I should probably go put that in my house, shan't I? Just, just right quick. There's not much to see in my house at the moment, but that'll change once we get 10,000 bells. Which, I guess I could work on a little bit today. Go smash some rocks, something like that. I don't know. No big deal. We'll way out of oval. But, uh, I did have a special request from my good buddy, so I need to fulfill that. My very favorite patron, matter of fact, my one and only patron, <laughs> has asked that I display this tadpole. His name is Nico, and he lives in my house now. Sweet. Be good. I'll see you later, buddy. And I think I donated the tadpole to the museum already, so... 
If we catch another one, we can either give Nico a friend or sell it for maximum profit. Which, obviously, I lean towards sell it for maximum profit, but, you know. Well, there's a new house. Paula's house, if I remember correctly. And she's hiding fossils in her yard. Mmm. What secrets do you hold? This is Paula. Oh, nice to meet you. My name's Paula. Hmm, I think that greeting was kind of stiff. Guess I'll have to work on that. You wouldn't happen to be that Dayton I've been hearing about, would you? Oh, they talk about me even when I'm not here? You are? <laughs> I'm in the presence of awesomeness. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just excited to meet you. I moved here because I heard some hotshot was taking over and making penis the place to be. So, nice to meet you, hotshot. Ah, nice to meet you as well. Thanks for coming to our town. Dayton, you're looking at me weird, Yodele. Uh, you know, I just, I just never seen a bear before. IRL. Hey, you, you really got your own loach? See, now that's interesting. I put in an order for the same type of item, but when I got it, it turned out to be a fake. I know. How about you sell me your loach? I'm on a bad streak here, and you could help me. How does 360 bells sound? Yeah, sure. I'll just give it to you if you want. Well, oh, really? It's really okay? Uh, I'm gonna give you a freebie. Enjoy. What? Dude. Seriously? Yeah. Whatever. I know bears love fish. You're the best. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Thanks, Yodele. Aw, oh, she's so happy. See? 360 bells can't buy you that. Right, right, right. Whose house is this? Tammy. I always forget where everybody lives. Maybe I'll get a little more used to it in the future. So I've got a few fossils that I need to go turn into the museum. And uh, I definitely need to go talk to Tom Nook. Excuse me, boom. Oh, this is Clay. What up, dog? Oh, it's Dayton. Hey there, Thump. So what can I do for you? Just, just saying hi. If something cool happens in town, you should take a picture of it, Thump. Press L and R at the same time. Click! Just like that. I'm collecting pictures of everyone make in town making funny faces. You can look at pictures you've taken using the Nintendo 3DS camera application. So give it a try. I don't think I have that application. Maybe I could download it on my computer. Something like that. So, first thing to do... I guess deliver all these fossils and whatnot to Blathers. That would be the wise thing to do. I like how I'm just running around with the shovel. Tammy, what are you doing out here? It's five o'clock, don't you know? Oh, hey Dayton, you doing some shopping, Chimpy? So what's going on, Chimpy? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hollering. I seen ya. I super adore this place. I can get all my shopping done at once, so there's so much more time for dancing. Oh, Tammy likes to dance. I did. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ah, uh, let's see what it do. Blathers, hoo hoo, hoo. Sleepy boy, hoo. Oh dear, pardon me. Welcome to the Penis Museum. Hmm, hoo. How may I be of service? Uh, can you assess some fossils for me? What would you like me to assess? I've got three at the moment. Here you go. Do all of them at the same time. Super scale. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, I do believe I found something that's not yet part of our museum's collection. It's really most stunning. I believe you have a natural talent for fossils. I'm rather jealous. I hope I can perhaps convince you to assist with Penis's cultural education. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Do think about donating, though. Hoo hoo. May I offer any further assistance? You can just have these, dude. I'm, I'm giving away everything today. Oh, and we get to keep one, so that's super sweet. A skull and a track, and then I have a thing to sell. Which is exactly what I wanted. I don't know how much a fossil sells for. I hope a lot. Oh, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all the fossils in a timely manner. 
Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? That's it. See you later. There are also paintings about, which, um, I don't remember how to get aside from going into Red's tent. But yeah, that's, that's down the road. Right now I'm broke as hell. Broke as hell. I gotta go check in the Nookling Junction. Pray for new tools today. Give me a, a net, would you? Could I have a bug catching net? Would that be possible? Fingers crossed. <sighs> there it is. Sweet. And a toilet. That's what I need in my tent. A toilet. Ah, a net. A fine item. Price is 500 bells. Are you interested? Definitely. Thank you kindly for your purchase. Thank you for the 500 bells. So shiny. By the way, do you know how to use this item? If you like, I can give you a quick explanation. Dude, please, stop. It's just a net. <laughs> so happy. Uh, they got some wallpaper. I guess I could buy some parchment. What about this future toilet? A super toilet. Oh, man. I don't actually want it. I mean, I do want it, but I can't part with 2,000 bells. I owe your uncle or whoever money. Uh, oh, how can I help you? Can you buy some stuff? Yes, of course. What would you like to sell? Everything. What did it cost? Everything. Well, I should have put that genie lamp down when I was in the house. Oh, 3,120 bells. Okay. We're, we're close. We're kind of close. I just gotta go catch some bugs. And not put them in the museum. Which is always the most tempting part for me. Because I want to fill out the, the museum. It feels so good to walk through the exhibit and see it all full of, like, fish or bugs or fossils. I've never filled out the the pictures. The picture paintings. Let's get this bug net. Uh, Tom Nook got nothing for me. Post office probably has nothing for me. I gotta go make some dosh and visit Isabel. I think that's what's on the agenda for today. Hopefully I find some bugs. Maybe I'm a little rusty on my bug catching. But I guess we'll find out. Hmm. There's a, a hole up there. I gotta get my shovel. Uh, huh. Yet another fossil. Which I'll wait a bit to bring that to Blathers. It's not an emergency. Hmm. Looking for fish or bugs. It's a mystery. I guess I could also collect some, some seashells. And then go sell them. That would be a good idea, right? What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a bug. What would you like to do? Not... Oh, not that! Fuck! How fucking embarrassing. What a mess. So I rebound my start button to the L button. Because I don't think I'm ever going to use the L button. But, uh, what were we doing? I think we were going to the beach real quick. Although I still need to talk to Isabel before this, uh... This whole thing's over. And I do see some fishes in there, but, you know... I don't know if I'm too, uh, too up for fishing today. I might be just catch some bugs. You know? Isn't that more relaxing? Personally, I've, I've always liked catching bugs just a little bit more. It feels a bit more interactive. So, what do you guys like as far as that goes? I mean, you could also just be a farmer and plant a bunch of fruits and stuff like that. That's an acceptable answer. I'll take that. I should also try to, like, smack some bells out of these rocks. And there's that squirrel. I don't like you, squirrel. We ain't friends. Oh, I dug this hole too far away. For for smacking the rocks, you want to, like, you know, make a little a little hole behind yourself. And then it can kind of hold you in place. This is probably not even going to be the rock, but, you know. Nope, nothing. You just gotta try. You just gotta try. 
Okay, okay, we know it's not the rock. Please don't do it again. Oh, this is convenient right here. Oh! What's this? The rock broke apart and something was inside. What the hell's that? Excuse me? Emerald. Well, I'm rich, everybody. Good night. I don't have to do anything anymore. Like, don't you want to be the mayor? Don't you want to do the, the town civic projects? I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm rich. I'm rich, bitch! Bomp, bomp. I didn't check what was uh, on special today as far as buying stuff, but I guess I guess that's okay. If I happen to have something super expensive, then hooray. Hello there, welcome. I'm surprised these these guys aren't like um, a bit more at odds with Tom Nook, you know? What did you bring? I got a lot of stuff. I got like a shell and then the other shell. And all the shells. Should I keep the emerald? I think I'm gonna keep it for now. I don't think I'm gonna hit to 10,000. <sighs> Since I'm pre paying premium for at least one of these items, 1320. Alright. Still got 2,000 bells to go, but... That's pretty good. What was the... What was the... Special? The item on special. See this way? I always want to check the sign. Always know what you're selling. It's probably just another seashell. I mean, all I sold is seashells. Last time they were looking for a Venus comb. Is that the case again? Uh, cowrie shell. I whatever that is. Oh, here's another fossil. Got him. Sweet, sweet. Let's, uh, make our little hole. Whee! I'm just gonna make, like, a ton of holes. Do these fill up overnight? Do I have to put them back in? Oh, it's working! Hooray! More! More money! Well, I think I made too many holes. You're supposed to be able to get, uh, two of those bags to come out, but... Oh, well... I got I got some money, so I guess I guess I'll take it. Is it gonna be enough? Is the question. Um, let's see. One thousand. I think it's enough. Five hundred. Yep, yep. Can pay off Tom Nook and have a hundred and twenty-five bells left over. Yeah, call me Richie Rich, boy. Did I complete a, a thing? Did I complete some meow coupons? Um, yeah, can I just, like, receive coupons then? Hooray! Now I could buy things. Give me more coupon! Nope. Nothing left. Thanks for using your local cat machine! Yeah, sure. It's still blinking! Why are you still blinking? Hit it with a shovel. Does it just always blink? Is, the, is it... Is that right? Oh, there are more coupons. What the hell's going on? Okay, now it stopped blinking. And I got 14 tickets, which, uh, I don't know what things cost over at the campsite, but... I'm not even ready to decorate my house quite yet. I gotta get some more stuff. Hi, is Belle? Oh, Mayor Dayton. Have you settled in and finished unpacking? Yeah, basically. Wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. Yeah, it took me four days to unpack a tent. <laughs> My bedroom's completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him in my room for just that reason. Um, <clears throat> right. I was going to tell you about the town hall. For starters, right now I'm standing at the service counter. This is the information hub of Penis. I provide a variety of services such as giving people advice for living in town. I also listen to requests to change the town tune and flag, and I report on citizen satisfaction. However, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. Where you're standing now is perfect, actually. From now, now they're moving on to your responsibilities as may- Ah! 
I almost forgot. <laughs> Before you can start laying out your vision for penis, you'll have you'll need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Uh, you sound pretty busy. Me busy? Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. I got a whole hour of sleep last night, so I'm just raring to go. <laughs> wow, poor pup. Now then, there's a very special chair in the back of the room that's reserved for the mayor. That's you! We need to work on official mayoral business. Just sit in that chair, and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Should I sit in the chair? Do I have to officially take this job? Oh, there's a picture of Tortimer in the back. Hey! Hi, Mayor Dayton. Let me guess, you'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. Well then, let me explain the prerequisites for the permit. The first requirement is that you own a house in town. You're still living in a tent, so you'll need to put together the down payment for a house first. And the second requirement is to gain the approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey the townsfolk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. Now, according to a preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 25%. Oh, crap! The law requires that all applicants have a 100% approval rating, so let's make that our goal. Talk to me from your mayor's chair anytime you want to know what your approval rating is. I can also give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. That's all there is to it. Oh, is that all? I have to improve my 25% approval rating to 100%. Is that all? Really? Well, let's just get right on that then. Fart. That's a lot more than I thought. And probably it's also going to take some... I'll drink from my The Boss mug because I'm the mayor. Mm. Put together some bells and stuff like that. I bet they don't let you apply for free. Hey, but I don't do it for free, though. Gotta get these weeds as I roam by. Uh, I think we can hoof it over to Tom Nook real quick. And maybe turn in these bells and I could have a house the next time we start up. So, I'm sorry everybody, I can't talk to you right now. I'm sorry Butterfly, I can't catch you right now. Last time I tried to catch one of your brethren, I logged myself out, so... Not making that mistake again. <laughs> oh, it's just so easy, my, my hands move before my brain does. I'm like, start, A, done. Uh, Nook's Homes, here we go. Knock knock, thank god you're still open. Hello? Is anybody here? Oh, welcome, welcome. I got money for you. Yes, yes, how may I help you? Down payment. Here you go. It's a lot of money. Take care of it. You brought the money? Let's have a look, huh? Oh, you gonna count it? You don't even trust me, bro? Yes, yes, exactly 10,000 bells. That does make me rather happy. Very good, very good. The money makes everything official, and work on your house can begin at once. You can also choose the color of your newly built home's roof. So, what color will it be? Oh, they don't allow you, like, a ton of options. I'll just take a red one. See, like a red roof, huh? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, got it. I'll make sure your house is ready to go by tomorrow morning. What else to tell you? Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course. I must tell you all about home remodeling. Once your house is finished, I can help you update the exterior. The exterior of your home consists of things on the outside, such as your roof and door and fence... Every day I will display new samples here for you to look through, so come when you've grown curious. For the moment, you must be looking forward to tomorrow, yes? Thanks much. Ah, wonderful progress. But as with most things in Animal Crossing, it takes time. Yeah! Woo! I paid the down payment. I'll be able to move into my house tomorrow. But I still gotta sleep in a house, or uh, I got still gotta sleep in a tent tonight. Yeah! Ah, uh, Katrina also told me that I should buy some unisex pants, so I'm gonna go look for those real quick. I don't know what they look like though. At least I can say hi to. Was it Abel and Mabel? Hello, welcome to the handmade fashion palace of the one and only Abel Sisters. Hey. Sable. Sable and Mabel. Sorry about that. She always gets like that when she's focused on something. That's okay. Are these unisex pants? Red zap pants. 
Isn't that sporty style extremely nice? With a matching shirt, you'll look just like a red superhero. Wouldn't that be fun? It would. Do you have a red shirt? I think not. Suddenly got that, that flaming shirt. Dog tooth pants. 480 bells. Uh, can I try it on? Oh, that's horrible. I thought it would look a heck of a lot better with this shirt. No, definitely not. Definitely not. I do kind of like this shirt, though. Oh, created with designs and they're all one of a kind. If you like any of these designs, you can take them home for free. Also, if you put your own designs up here, people in town may like them and take them home as well. If anything strikes your fancy, please let me know. Didn't I? That design's by someone from any town. It's called shirt. What would you like to do? Uh, I want it. In order to store a new design now, you'll need to erase another one to make room. Yeah, I don't think I have any. Choose a spot for it. Oh, I do I do have That's so sad. Um well, uh ooh, uh I guess I'll get rid of plain yellow cloth. I don't think I'll ever use that, probably. Enjoy your brand new design! Oh, thanks so much. Let's go next door. Check out some accessories. Oh my god! Can I have this? The racing helmet? That's not a bad choice. When you want to look like a racer, this item's just the thing. Costs 12,000 bells. Oh. That's okay. I'll just uh, put it on the list, I guess. The doctor's mirror? That's not a bad choice. When you want to look like a doctor. 600 bells. Can I just see it? I don't think I can wear it with my current mask anyways. Oh god, it's horrible looking. That official look is great on you. Don't lie to me. Okay. Never bullshit a bullshitter. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Bye. See you later, okay? Totally. Whatever. She got two faces. She got two sisters. She got two faces. That's like four siblings. Something like that. Let's uh run around and see if we can catch a bug. Or a fish. Or something. Just for a couple minutes. A couple minutes. Pad out the uh, the run time a little bit. <laughs> oh, and there is a bird on top of the, the thing. Just like they said there'd be. This is where I got the bells the first time around. I think you can only do one, one rock. There's one special rock per day. Hmm. I don't see anything on like the trees or anything like that. That's too bad. Maybe we could find some some special shells. Yes. There's probably some stuff in the ocean. That I could catch if I were so inclined. I wonder if it's possible to have all of this connected. Because it's kind of a pain to like do half the ocean. And then walk all the way around the town. And then do the other half of the ocean. You know what I mean? Well this half is way longer and it's next to my house. So I guess this is my new hangout spot. Oh, pockets are full. Just drop it. That's fine. So sad when that happens. I guess I won't be catching any bugs today. At least, uh, not until I'm able to go empty my pockets. Oh, I hear a bug. Do you hear a bug? I bet he's down here somewhere. Oh, uh, hello? Mr. Bug. Carefully check the trees. Do not bump them. Hmm. Now I don't hear him anymore. Oh! He's so good at hiding! Oh, oh, there's a thing, isn't there? Is that a thing? Should I be catching it? Well, I gotta, I gotta sell stuff anyways. <sighs> Let's just do that for now. Keep things simple. Excuse me, squirrel. Excuse me, alligator. Excuse me, bear person. I got stuff to do. So I'll drop this stuff off, and then uh, we'll call it. 
I'll do I'll do a genie lamp at the beginning of the next episode. Oh, hello there. Welcome. Yes, quite. Could I sell you a thing? You want to sell something? What did you bring? Look at all this. Look at this crap. Cowrie shell. So there is at least a little bit of extra money in here for me. Is this everything? I'll start crunching the numbers. Since I'm paying premium for at least one of these, 2,630 bells. Yeah! I could go buy that race boy helmet if I wanted, but I changed my mind. I don't want to be an impulse buyer, you know? I've already got a, a luchador mask. I don't need a racing helmet, really. Not really. Come on, guys. What, am I just going to hoard all the headgear? I only have one head. That don't make sense. There's a butterfly. You know I gotta catch it. All the stuff I said about not catching bugs right now, I lied! Oh, fart. I'm not very good at this. Hoo! I said hoo! I said hoo! You gotta watch the shadow, not the butterfly. I caught a yellow butterfly! Now to catch a toast fly. Mmm. Diapha diaphanous wings. Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. As you can hear from the the sounds around me, everybody's waking up now. So we gotta we gotta call this one. I caught a tiger butterfly. Looks like I pounced first. Suckle, you suckle. Is there is there? I don't know why I thought there's something on that tree. Oh my god! I can sit on the rocks. That's fantastic. What an addition! And Boone's still lurking near my house. You, you didn't take any of our stuff, did you? <laughs> oh, Lord. A good time, as always. In the Animal Crossing. Hopefully somebody doesn't ambush me in my house. Oh, it's getting dark, too. We gotta turn the light on. Sorry I left you in the dark there, little Nico. We had quite an adventure. I'm gonna... Put this emerald because emerald is green and Nico is green. But anyways, friends, I hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. That would be massively appreciated. Check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon, and as always, a big, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon. Currently, we'll be back soon enough because I got to see my brand spanking new house. That's gonna be spiffy. <laughs> Thanks as always for watching, friends. This has been Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends. I was trying to find my start button. Bye bye! <laughs>